Hello, Neapel Times here, welcome to a new video. And today I have here my friend's iPhone 7 Plus, which is running the iOS 12 Golden Master version, which is the one that's going to be shipped to all customers tomorrow, as of when I'm recording this. Probably it's already available when you watch it. So yeah, we're going to try the Measure app. The Measure app is one of the new features in iOS 12 that was introduced by Apple, which allows you to take measurements using AR technology in all iPhones from the 6S and up of physical uh, objects in the real world. So we're going to test this out in this video and see how accurate it is and how well it works. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to the Measure app and now it will ask us to calibrate by moving our iPhone in 3D and 2D and it's okay. And now we get this circle to do the measurements but first we're going to have a look at what else we have in here. As you can see here is the measure and here is the level that was the compass up but it's no longer here. Now it's here. And yeah, then we can add a measurement and take pictures while we measure. So we're going to try to measure this box. Okay, so as you can see it automatically detected the, the lid of the box and if we tap add a measurement it will tell us that it's 23 by 15 centimeters and the whole surface that is 345 square centimeters so that's quite nice and we can also if we if we tap the the trash can icon we can delete that measurement and we can also measure it like measure two points like we're going to measure the socket from that corner to that corner and sometimes it automatically detects the endpoints. So yeah, it tells 26 centimeters. So now we're going to measure them with a real measure tape and see how accurate this is. Okay, so we will measure the box and we can see it is 14 and a half by 22. So it was somewhat accurate. It's uh, before it said 23 by 15. So that's not bad at all. And if we measure the socket, it's 26 and a half. So yeah, 26 centimeters is not bad. So yeah, overall, it's not perfect, but not far either. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty decent. It's not perfect, but the the error is not much either, it's like half a centimeter or a centimeter at much. However, I do have to say that what you saw isn't the real world testing because we had to test it a lot of times and especially that rectangle recognition thing didn't work all of the times and it was quite, point, quite painful <laughs> to get it to work. So I'd say that if you have a measure tape, I just use that. But if you don't have any on hand and just want to take a quick measurement of something, you can use your iPhone and with patience, you might be able to accomplish it. And yeah, the, uh, the measurement is somewhat accurate, so that's okay. So what do you think? Are you going to use the measure app or not? Please let me know down below in the comments. Also let me know if you have any questions that you want to be answered, and I will do my best to answer them. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe down below for more Apple related content that's coming every week. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with everything I post and be able to vote on polls on what content I post. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.